Zoom call. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's streaming live on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, that that's what we've got now. <laughs> yeah. Now just a second. Mm. Don't know if it works. Okay, hello everybody. Hello. Um, welcome to our Indo German live talk. Today we have three guests, guests from Mumbai. Uh, first of all, please give a very warm welcome to Shraddha Kaul. Hello, Shraddha. Hi, hi, Stefan. Hi, Andrazi. Hi, Roman. Hi, Jyoti. Hi. hi. Then we have uh, Jyoti Kapoor Das. Hi, Jyoti. Hi. And we have Samir Modi. Hi, Samir. Hi, guys. And please also give a warm welcome to my co-host. This is Anjana Singh from Amica. She's chairwoman of Amica Lefau in Berlin. Hi, Anjana. Namaskar. And we have Raman from Radio Apna Frankfurt in Frankfurt. Hello, Raman. Hi, Stefan. Hi. Hi, Hi everyone. And Hi, thank you. Hi. 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 So it's a pleasure to be in call with all of us. Thank you very much. And also, um, yeah, uh, pleasure. You should start, Raman, please. All right. Go ahead. So thank you. Thank you, Stefan, for uh, giving me the opportunity to start this today. So, well, we have three guests today. So how about we start with Shraddha first? (laughs) Hi, Shraddha. Hi. Hi. So, I mean, Shraddha Call, you are born in Mumbai in love with movies since you were four years old. Yeah. And today you have been on screen for around 20 years. I mean, your first role in television was in year 2000, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah. So, Shraddha, when you look back at your career today, what is the one highlight that you would like to mention to our viewers and listeners? Uh, When I look back, I, I, I've, the highlight is of my life in this career, in this profession, which I've chosen is I've met a lot of people who I've learned from and uh, uh, and uh, imbibed all their uh, 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 teachings from, I mean, being on set, uh, being uh, with script writers, being with directors. And that is one of the highlights of my life. And this profession has uh, made me uh, uh, learn a lot more from uh, so many different people. And I I, and I and I uh, want to keep on learning more. Uh, it's it's a wonderful profession. Yeah, so I think it's 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 like other professions. You always meet a lot of people. Yeah. You, you see what's going around. So I mean, what what motivates you every morning when you wake up? That okay, today is the day. So what is that motivation that keeps you going? The motivation is I'm going to learn something new uh, because I uh, being in this profession, I've learned. Uh, uh, I you know I've. Uh, it gives you a lot of opportunity to, to learn. I have learned to dry, uh, ride an Activa, which I, I thought I would never get on uh, because of <laughs> you've seen Mumbai roads. And uh, I've learned, uh, I've uh, uh, held a mouse uh, uh, by its tail and uh, let it roll all over my arm because of a scene. I had to chant, uh, I had to say these 10 lines, Sanskrit lines for a, uh, for a, for a film. And I had to say it in 10 seconds. It, it was... Chandan Prabhasham, Shasham Jalantam, Shemloke, Dev, Shamutram, Tam, Padmini, Mim, Sharnam, Prabhade, Alakshme, Nashatam, Tom Rani, Sudi, Mati, Sudi, Piramu, Piran, Vam, Trai, Main, Tribu, and Matam, Raman, Gurdika, Gurdara, Bhagya, Bhagya, Pavit, the Pui, with Bhagya, Salakshan, Shamja, Kamalam, Kamalanja, Padmam, Raman, Nali, Nikomakram, Jamam, Shirojam, Shirojam, Rakum, Pakaram, Vishnu, Premati, Sadajapam, Quad, the Kamsa, I had to say this in 10 seconds. I mean, it was like a pranayama from me, and I keep on learning something new all the time so i'm pretty happy and i don't know what what else i'm going to learn somebody's going to tell me to ride a, a, a truck and i'm going to ride a, a drive drive a truck and i'm going to drive a truck so uh, it's this is a very uh, uh, it, it's different it's awesome i mean because a lot of time people see uh, stars on screen and they say well this is an easy life and what what people have to do so i mean a, at the back there is a lot of hard work that goes there's into a, it there's right? a lot of waiting you wait a lot on the sets rather than uh, the filming time is very less you actually wait the scouting for work is more than uh, than actually filming for the work so yeah. uh, it, that that is how it is i mean now picking up on time there but what you just mentioned now let's move to the eight and a half minutes that I've watched in the last days. Well, okay. you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking yeah. about the short movie, Face It. The yeah. English short film, 
you played the lead solo role eight 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 and a half minutes you and acting two iconic scenes from robert de niro's film now first of all congratulations on the award winning performance there i i personally i loved it thank you, you know? so much you were trying to say so and i mean best performance award at uh, mirror mountain film festival canada also winner of the best actress uh, jury award at the 7th dada saab uh, falke award in 2017 and many more now as they say uh, let's go a bit behind the scenes and ask you a question here now yeah. so how did this project happen and how did this opportunity came your way and did you know that these 8 minutes or 8 and a half minutes were going to fetch you so many awards Uh, i as an actor i've always been trying uh, trying to uh, look out for diverse parts uh, so uh, this was a part which just i think this uh, person aditya bharat pawar who is the director and the producer of this film he just uh, called me one day as saying that um, i didn't know him he just said uh, would you want to do this and i met him and and the part looked very interesting they were really good the script was really good and um, uh, and uh, and i'm enact- enacting two uh, scenes from robert nero's films one was from uh, a taxi driver the famous uh, you talking to me uh, scene and uh, the raging bull uh, scene where um, uh, where robert de niro uh, mouths marlon brando's uh, uh, dialogue it was you charlie scene uh, from on the waterfront and okay shrara is frozen shrara yeah okay you you have been frozen yeah, the last sense yeah. uh, the last words had, um, couldn't be understand understood for the audience Yeah. Am I there now? Yes, you're you back. You're back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, and uh, to be with that script for a month, and uh, you know, to uh, it was as close I could get to um, you know working with Robert De Niro, and it was one of the best things. And also, I would like to add that short film uh, for the the format of a short film uh, gives so much of uh, opportunity to uh, actors, and you know, uh, to uh, fulfill their. Uh, it gives a validation to their spirit, and to to have uh, you know new. kind of work to do and that it it makes them look forward to it and i think the short film is uh, the format is wonderful and also on this in this film uh, the the script was wonderful and the production team was i've seen how the director had worked uh, worked and it was just like i just it. have fond memories when i uh, think about it yeah so thank you thank you for sharing that stefan yeah um uh, shot and great to hear that from from you i would like to ask um uh, jyoti and sami also about short films so jyoti uh, you are wearing many hats you know um <laughs> the head of a director of a producer you're an alumna of the prestigious film and television institute of india in pune and uh, you have been uh, as um, been uh, the creative director of the development and production at viacom 18 and you have been associated with films like gangs of vasapur queen bark mika bark maricom etc but as a in your second career as a writer director you have um, written and directed a film chutney as well as plus minus plus minus i think has uh, 12 million clicks on youtube uh, really really a, a huge amount so um, what is your um, what is your view on it uh, what is the job you like most the, uh, the job of a producer the job of a writer or a director or uh, you can't decide uh, so my first career actually is writer director my first career actually is film editor because that's what i trained in at film school and uh, the corporate job just happened you know very serendipitously i didn't plan on it it just so usually uh, film institute especially people who are trained i'll just let you in on a secret we used to be these very arrogant uh, egoistical people you know who say ki either you make a film because people who go and do jobs in production houses or corporate houses or studios are just sell outs you know they don't know how to make a film so they've gone and they you know they've gotten a job in hindi we say kursi pakad li it's like you've just gone and got a chair and you've sat there and you've got a cushy job so we used to look down on uh, jobs in studios or production houses and uh, out of the blue you know this opportunity came up and you know they they basically told me just see if you want to do it and you can leave anytime you want to and of course they were giving like this really good monthly salary which is great for freelancers because you're used to kind of struggling you know finding work convincing people getting a producer getting the funding so when someone comes and tells you you're going to get x amount 
per month and you know see if you like it if you don't like it you can leave any time it seemed like a nice uh, comfortable kind of proposition and it was great because i learned a lot so when you're a filmmaker on the outside you know trying to make films you really have no clue about how a, a studio works or how a production house works what what mathematics is at play what what do they think of when they uh, agree to do a project and that was great because it's a, it's a lot of you know like shraddha keeps saying our industry is something which just gives us opportunities to learn all the time so um it was a great learning experience i was there for three odd years and it was fabulous of course and we met i i made a lot of lovely friends uh, all of, all over the world because of my job at viacom which gave me a lot of opportunities to also uh, travel to different festivals meet a lot of new people new directors new talent new producers collaborate with people across the world so uh, for me that was a great learning experience but then you come back to the fact that you are a storyteller so i think my my forte and my love and my passion really is telling stories and i keep saying you know we we are again very lucky that uh, you know we can just tell whatever story we want and people pay to watch it you know it's yeah. like it, it's like the best job in the world you can you know somebody who wants to be a liar in real life but they can't lie but you know they just come into storytelling and you know either they write a book or they or they uh, act or they direct or they you know make a, a film or something or or make a play and whatever lies they have and whatever stories and whatever fantasies they have inside them get a platform so it's also a great way to be healthy you know to just stay healthy and <laughs> all your all your deep dark or not or your crazy ideas all find a, a an outlet so yeah for me stefan i mean i'm i'm happiest when i'm telling my stories and you know having that opportunity uh samia um what do you think what makes you happy <laughs> so basically see uh, while we are sitting amongst talent and creators where my focus is is in trying to give up provide the platform and take short films to people wherever they are so what really gives me joy is frankly when you know the the films that we put out are really appreciated by audiences and when the film goes across platform so apart from the internet now we're taking short films across the mobile platforms you're taking them to theaters television and as we you know try and reach out to more and more audiences and expose them to this format of content which is short films which is something which i really personally love so you know it just make makes a lot of sense and gives a lot of joy when we are able to see that the dreams of these creators who are creating these short films and which uh, unfortunately and for most people and it definitely does not apply to the two women here but uh, their uh, short films have generally not really been found out by people even though they are good in content and if we play a small role of a catalyst trying to get some audiences to that content and generate revenue for those filmmakers i think that is the biggest joy that uh, we can get and i think uh, the other option is as in when you know we keep on doing new stuff so trying to do new new platforms we started off with youtube today we are on a number of platforms already with number of ott players here in india as well as globally and uh, something that i can very pleased to share even on this platform today is that uh, as soon as early next week we will be launching our own ott platform for short films Oh, wow. amazing! Wow. Congrats. Congratulations! Congratulations! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations! That's good news for all Thank of you. us. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I think that is a good combination now to talk about short films and career. Shraddha, I have a question for you. So, um, what role did it play in your career that you have been the lead and face it uh, in this uh, short film? Uh, we yeah. were just talking before about it. and uh, so yeah what did it uh, did it help you in your career um... yeah it helped me a lot because it helped me in polishing my art as an uh, actor and it gave me a lot of confidence uh, because uh, uh, with the uh, especially with the scenes you, and you and you want to do so many you want to do so many different kind of uh, roles and this was just out of uh, one in a blue moon that a role like that comes across and uh, i jumped at the opportunity and i i'm i'm uh, I'm very happy that I did it, and uh, yeah. 
Yeah, so um, because we would like to learn more about uh, your next step in your career, but I think Raman and Anjana have questions for, for that part. So Raman, yeah, you want to go? Uh, maybe Anjana ji, would you like to? Okay, so I, I'll then start on this part. Yeah. So now Shraddha ji, a uh, question, question to you now. So you yeah. have been an actress on stage. You have also acted in many movies and many TV programs. Uh, the latest one is Breathe Into the Shadow with none other than Junior Bachchan himself playing a role into that uh, part. Yeah. So would you like to tell our viewers and listeners more about this show and your experience while shooting for this? Uh, the show uh, as uh, the show is uh, is such a fantabulously written show and uh, to work with such a, a team of talented uh, you know uh, writers and director and uh, you you want to be part of such exciting projects and uh, the show uh, it's got a, such a stellar cast and the performances are wonderful. And uh, uh, Mr. Bachchan is really uh, a very uh, down to earth uh, guy. And I learned a lot uh, being on the sets and uh, you know, you always learn a lot from various different directors when they, when they issue directors to uh, other actors and you l learn and you also, you're consciously learning also subconsciously also you're learning. And uh, this was one of the projects that uh, I, uh, uh, that helped me, uh, you know, open my eye uh, to uh, a lot of different kinds of uh, things. Yeah. Anjana ji? Yeah. Shraddha ji, for me, it's a big deal today because I have written the German version of Breathe and I have written it with my और मुझे ये मतलब जब मौका मिला मिलने का आपसे तो मुझे लगा मेरे पास इतने ढेर सारे सवाल हैं क्या मैं सबसे पहले पूछूं पूछिए ना और सबसे पहले तो मैं जानना चाहूंगी कि ब्रीथ की कहानी में आपके लिए क्या खास था और जेबा का किरदार वो आपको खुद कैसा लगा और उसमें आपको क्या खास दिखा लेट मी ट्रांसलेट इट इन इंग्लिश फॉर आवर ऑडियंस या so yeah, uh, Anjana ji basically mentioned that she has been one of the persons behind uh, putting the subtitles in German for Breathe, which was launched in Germany as well. And now the question to you, Shraddha, is what is so special for you about Breathe? And did you see, uh, how did you see your character of Zeba into this uh, series? Stop. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear the question. The, your screen was freezed and, and I couldn't hear it. Okay. So the question is, what is special for you in the uh, whole series of Breathe? So what is so special about it for you as a person? And then how do you see your character of Zeba in this series? Uh, uh, Zeba, uh, uh, Breathe is, uh, I've seen season one and I was I was very enamored with the, the content and and then when you find the casting writer telling you that it's Breathe season two and uh, that you get you're uh, you're going to get audition for it and I jumped at it and and the being uh, in the uh, in the cast uh, was uh, was wonderful because it uh, because of the director and the script and the, the the script was wonderful and the scenes are wonderful and Zeba scenes uh, though. Uh, uh, they are, uh, I think, uh, uh, the. Uh, <clears throat> Rada, your phone I've never done such a part it? before. And are you there? Yes, uh, well, you're back. You're yeah. back. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I've never done such a part before. And uh, it was uh, wonderful uh, because the way he was directing me and the uh, uh, way, way we were doing it, it was just uh, a different kind of an experience. Anjana ji. या um, सबसे पहले तो मैं ये बताना चाहूँगी कि ये सबटाइटल्स नहीं था ये uh, उसकी डबिंग के लिए था oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. and I also wanted to I also want to say is that sorry I'm interrupting but I also want to say that I use a lot of my expressions in it uh, in breathe uh, so uh, to get my uh, uh, emotion across so that was that was a very that was a learning experience for me I mean uh, I, at what I could uh, uh, do as an actor so it was a different आपका सबसे प्रिय किरदार क्या था ब्रीथ में या है सो व्हाट व्हिच वन व्हिच वन वाज योर फेवरेट कैरेक्टर इन द सीरीज ब्रीथ आई थिंक आई लव्ड ऑल द कैरेक्टर्स ऑल द कैरेक्टर्स आर सो वेल डिफाइंड आई मीन 
you know there, there's a hard, there is sometimes a film or a movie and then you say the, the the all the parts were good and you remember every part you remember each and every person who was there in the you remember you remember the person who was the childhood friend of uh, uh, the character uh, played by uh, abhishek bachchan ji and you remember every every other part you remember uh, pitpal singh i mean all were just fantabulous it was a uh, it was casted so well the, the the script was so good and everything was memorable and uh, i watched the show uh, at back to back all the 12 episodes I, it was not i was so into it i was at first i thought i was like okay i'll watch it but then it was just so wonderful i i as an audience i was uh, really floored and as an actor i'm really pr- proud to be a part of it and uh, it's 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 great to be on the amazon prime family एक चीज मैं और जानना चाहूंगी कि भारत में जो मैं देख रही हूँ जितने भी क्रिटिक्स मिले हैं वो उतने अच्छे नहीं है जितना जर्मनी में उसको अच्छा क्रिटिक्स मिल रहा है तो क्या कारण है क्या भारत की जनता ऐसे सीरीज नहीं देखना चाहती है आज भी क्या उनको हॉलीवुड स्टाइल के सीरीज नहीं पसंद है क्या कहती है इस पे आप ट्रांसलेशन इन इंग्लिश फर्स्ट so um breath is uh, much more appreciated in germany as compared to india so what wow. is what is the reason behind this according to your understanding i mean is the indian audience still not ready to see the hollywood style of uh, characters and the uh, series that that are launched in india no i think uh, uh, people are open to new comp- uh, see i am hungry to do great diverse parts and i think the audience is hungry to see diverse uh, uh, kind of plots and the breathe is a, is a very a great example of this and uh, and there are few people who say that you know they, they think otherwise but i think the in general the public really uh, loves the show and uh, you always want to see engaging content and breathe is an engaging content and uh, with the ott platforms uh, uh, the 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 kind of content is uh, which is uh, coming up is very different and the, it's a pick and choose for the audiences and uh, it's wonderful for the content creators and uh, for uh, the audiences to you know the the, the, the audience is a hungry tiger and uh, and the, the ott platforms are just you know uh, giving diverse content and that, that is really wonderful and i don't think uh, uh, a few people may say so otherwise but i think the, on the whole because i really liked it and i wanted to watch diverse content and this is uh, uh, this was uh, very very great yeah the one thing i would like to just add for the audience here uh, initially i made a mistake it's not the subtitles in german the series is available in german language and it was dubbed in german language so when okay. the our viewers and listeners are interested they can actually go to amazon prime and also watch it in german language yeah and if i may just add here shraddha i actually binged the entire show over one weekend one saturday night and uh by sunday early morning we were me and my wife were done with the whole show wow wow <laughs> and you liked it obviously otherwise you wouldn't have <laughs> I mean, we we kind of traded our sleep to complete the show it, it uh-huh. is one of a kind of a show it's just a, 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 such shows are, you know it's one of those shows that you really want to watch and it's a, a, the, the the characters are, are so very different and remember uh, and uh, you know you remember every each and every character i mean how uh, how how rarely do you find some something like that on uh, on screen and that you and you identify with the the characters the uh, abhishek bachchan's character you are uh, and uh, you know it's really wonderful yeah, there after these three episodes when we decided to go to sleep and then after the cliffhanger we just decided one more <laughs> and we watched that one too <laughs> you know it's uh, i have to admit actually i don't have amazon prime uh, uh, membership now but after listening to this i'm actually going to get the membership today and i'm going to watch this one now yes <laughs> it's it's really interesting to listen to that it's very interesting mere sath kya hai ki mujhe aise serials itne nahi pasand hai वैसे कोई भी सीरियल्स और फिल्म मैं बहुत कम देखती हूँ लेकिन इसको जब मैं ट्रांसलेशन कर रही थी अपने पार्टनर के साथ तो मैं उससे पूछती थी क्योंकि वो मुझसे पहले देख लेती थी मैं उससे पूछती थी अभी आगे क्या हुआ यही था यही था अभी आगे क्या हुआ हुआ because my my family was saying abhi kya hua abhi kya kya hoga kya hoga what is going to happen next what is going to happen next you know it, it, yeah. it just kept, kept you on your toes and you feel so bad for you know for for the character just so yeah. bad yeah. 
So I think it's it's an interesting part that the viewers and listeners are also listening to this. So yeah, I think it's it's motiv- it has motivated me to go for it, and I'm pretty sure it will motivate others as well. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, Sami, I have a question for you. So uh, you just um, revealed uh, the secret that you will launch your own platform, your own OTT platform, Pocket Films. So yes. um, can you tell us a little bit more about the content? Uh, so I guess that will be the films we have now on YouTube under the label of Pocket Films. Will it be more or less the same? Or do you also plan to have series there, even if it's short series you like uh, in maybe like on TikTok or so where you always also have a uh, short but what is the plan can you uh, tell us a little bit so, more yeah about initially that? when we launch we're going to of course launch with a part of a curated part of our existing library on YouTube mm-hmm. because I think we have a very large library on YouTube itself we currently distribute almost 5,000 videos on YouTube so on our platform we are going to curate and pick out some of the uh, pick out the content which is you know more uh, addressing the need of the audiences today and uh, then over time we are of course open to series as well but one thing is something that we definitely don't want to do is we don't want to do uh, tiktok type content we we basically i think i am proud to say we differentiate ourselves as film the entertainment so we're not looking at uh, just a random video made by anybody I mean, we are not the platform for that. There is nothing to comment on how good or bad that is. I mean, TikTok has many millions of viewers over there. But uh, that's not the platform or the kind of content on our platform. We are all about content which is pro- which can be defined as a film, which may be shorter in duration, but at the end of the day, it has to be a film. It has to tell you a story. And that is what we look at. Of course, we are open to series. We are open to documentaries. Um, I think a documentary is one one form or format of content which I still feel is highly underexplored in India and has got great potential. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, so that that's the aim. We want to do that. And then going forward, the aim is also to get a lot of international short films and expose our Indian audiences to that kind of content as well. So it's more of taking India out through our platform and then trying to get uh, good content uh, from all over the world onto our platform for audiences in India. And uh, will it be like a pay-per-view or... or, or a, um, so initially we are going to go with a completely award model. So it mm-hmm. is uh, free to view mm-hmm. and uh, revenues will be generated through ads. Over time, uh, when, you know, when the time is right and when we have such kind of premium content is when we may explore a premium, but we'll probably never go completely subscription. We're looking at somewhere a hybrid version of a free and subscription-based model. But that is much later down the line. Initially, we are focused only on advertising-based revenue generation and free for the viewers. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jody, what have been your um, experiences with the two short films you have written and directed? Uh, so the last one was so successful. So what did you do? What did you throw into the into the cage to the lions uh, so that they came all and then watched your film? No, uh, I think the actually chutney is even the yeah, first one was much got, much more successful. I think it's got 21 million views or something. Oh, okay, so, or something. So it's like a really, uh, it's kind of hit 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 the roof. I have no idea. I think it's so. I keep saying this. Jyoti, I think it's intention. If I may you, interrupt, Jyoti. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Samir. You are grossly mistaken. Chutney is not 21 million views. It is 120 million. Plus. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, we we are we are um, the the whole. Uh, I'm calling myself a struggling filmmaking community is always so uh, poverty struck in our heads that we can't even <laughs> say hundred. You know, we can't even say we can't say million. We can't say all this. We're stuck still in that. I'm sorry, Samir. Thank you so much for connecting me, and and uh, in, and it's in all in my favor. But yeah, 120 odd million. So yeah, but um, I think I think it has just to do with the. Uh, I mean, we uh, so the the story like I've shared with with you earlier when we screened it also at, uh, at in Berlin with at a festival. 
is that uh, there was a there's a hindi uh, story short story by a very very eminent writer bishu sani which we took the rights of and his daughter very generously gave it to us and then we developed it contemporized it to make it a story of today set in delhi and the um, i think that uh, there was we had one of our writers is avnish mishra who's very good with language and with you know words so he added a lot of beautiful flavor to the dialogue it's mostly all monologue it's actually a monologue really uh, it's discussed character which has a monologue and just interrupted by uh, a few flashback scenes or by rasika's expression so um, i think that you know and when i was writing it it just i've i've just been very blessed i think that uh, i'm able to see a film when i'm writing it and it's quite organic i don't need to struggle over it the same thing happened even with plus minus in fact was i think i just uh, the minute i heard about that character from the time i heard of the character to the time i finished writing the screenplay was like 2 hours because i did not know of that main protagonist and you know one of my assistants came and said do you know of this guy and i said oh isn't it you know isn't it a cricketer or whatever and he said please research and then i just googled and from the time that i googled to the time that i got inspired to write the story and finished writing it writing the script was 2 hours and i i genuinely cannot take credit for that because i think it's just the universe which wants to tell a story and and you're just the medium to do it for chutney also i think you know we just um, we had a story and we kind of said okay you know we want to make it today's story and when i started writing the screenplay with the flashbacks it just all happened uh, luckily large short films came on board funded it so we could take a crew to delhi do a shoot uh, we did the post we did everything a lot of people i mean all of us all the technicians worked for free and uh, the actors worked for free and we just you know we just stretched the dollar really we just kind of everyone put in i think it's intent you just put in everything and you leave it to the universe and nobody thought it would you know become this thing when we made the film when it came out there was no sign of a film fair short film category at all it happened much later and uh, so it it's all surrender pitches i mean i just feel i'm you know just at the right time at the right place and you just trust to the universe that you know if if your intention is right and you put in your 100% hard work and not kind of uh, you know look at somebody else and say are but you know why are they getting this and why am i not getting it you know just different people have different journeys to take and you know you reach wherever you have to reach and you have to be uh, you know grateful for what you have i wouldn't say satisfied i'll say grateful nobody should ever be satisfied but they should definitely be grateful because out of that gratitude i think more opportunities come i think shraddha as an actor will totally agree with this because i think as i do i do agree with yeah yeah you know we always feel very grateful for opportunities yeah uh, raman yeah so I mean, now i would like to actually connect all three of you so what what i am seeing on my screen here is one actress who has had success with the short film and then a successful writer producer and director of, of short films and we also have uh, an entrepreneur a successful distributor of the short films i mean i i come originally from india and as a childhood it's always about those big characters yeah it's always about those big movies and you want to see those movies you want to be part of those movies so how did the interest come into this short movie section so i would actually like to start with shraddha here and maybe after that jyoti and then uh, samir i mean how short movies why shraddha i'm sorry can you repeat the question my the connection yeah. is yeah So, so the question is, I mean, it's always about the big screen, big movies. Yeah, you, you, as as a child, you would always say, yeah, I, I want to be on the big screen, like part of these big movies. But then, how the passion for the short movies developed for you? It, it was not about a short. It was, it's, uh, I, it was more about the part. I mean, I'm more drawn to the part, irrespective of uh, uh, the. Uh, 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 where it is screened, it does not matter to me. And the part was. engaging the story was engaging and that's what uh, compelled me to do the film and uh, and that's i think that that's why you, you i think you liked it as well yeah. and uh, it i won't say sh short films or <clears throat> want to that... be engaged with it and uh, would love it and short films are very uh, great in a way to uh, 
showcase that because you uh, you have some diverse content you have because un unlike a theatrical uh, unlike a theatrical screening where you have those big blockbuster masala films and you know which only get uh, which get screenings for uh, you know months on uh, two three months short the the platform of the format of a short film and on a platform like an ott and it, it gratifies both the content makers and the uh, and the uh, and the uh, audiences and the actors as well it just fulfills a dream you know you you have such different uh, diverse uh, parts to do and uh, it's just uh, it, it's a it, it's wonderful yeah no thank you now i always feel about short films one thing i mean as they say in hindi it's chota packet bada dhamaka you know it's it's a short packed uh, film where a big message comes out in a very nice way so with that i mean i i come to you jyoti how did you end up being in in the world of short films uh so actually i made a short film in uh, in 2002 when you know there was I mean, at that time, YouTube also wasn't like a big deal, and I just had my baby, and I thought, you know, and I was a graduate of the film institute, and and I saw people, you know, doing work around me, and I thought, I've my life is over. I'm never going to make anything in my life. I've got this baby, and I'm just this, you know, mummy now. And uh, my husband had shot the first digital film of India called Ur Professor, and everyone was calling him, you know, to talk about camera formats and all this, and it was shot on uh, DV. and uh, i'm listening to him having these conversations and i kept thinking you know are i can use him to just you know do something and i wrote i wrote a small script it had raghuveer yadav in it and biju kote ji and people i'd worked with and i kind of wrote a script and i kind of took money from my dad and from my husband and you know i just kind of did all this uh, jugad we call it you know i think indian <laughs> indian <laughs> films or short filmmakers just they they coast on jugad jugad is uh, how how do you how do you translate jugad into english there is no translation for jugad yeah it's there's no it's it's basically you know using whatever facility is being really resourced it's been hustle 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 thank you thank you <laughs> i would hustle. actually translate it more like make it happen yeah so yeah yeah it's like a it's a hustle it's resourceful so um and then i made that film and that film actually had it you know i just made it and i did it as an exercise and it went you know it premiered at melbourne it played at uh, female eye it played at uh, Cine Quest it played in a lot of places, and I kind of got validated that okay, you can tell a story. Again, it's it's a very very commercial. It's not it was not at all RT or you know anything because I'm a very firm believer in the narrative. You know, beginning, middle, and an end, and you give the audience something which is uh, consumable. In that it was a ten minute film, and it is a ten minute film, and it's just that's what it is. Then of course you know life moved on. I did other things and uh, my corporate job and stuff. and even with uh, chutney actually tiska and i met over a feature film story and she had read this play and she had done it as a monologue uh, as a theatrical monologue so she said you know can we do something with this and it was exciting so we just did it you know and it was easier to make a short film than to make a feature film you kind of just okay. do it and it is like what shraddha says it's a show reel really for uh, for a director's talent for an actor's talent for you know different people also it doesn't because short films the budgets are so small you're not uh, and you can't pay people so you can take favors by saying you know it's 3 days work it's 4 days work just come or it's 2 days work just come you know it's like people will still go out of their way you can't you should not really do that for a feature film i mean it's kind of taking advantage of people but for a short film we really exploit people that we just say <laughs> you know it's just two days work please come no <laughs> you know they people also oblige you and they say chalo i know what to do and then there's a promise ki you know when when we make a feature film we'll remember you did this for us so you know we'll cast you again so there are all these carrots that you are uh, kind of you know presenting to an actor also i'm sure shardas faced a lot of <laughs> and i don't know how many she can yeah <laughs> But I don't think I'm sorry to inter interrupt you, but yeah, I don't yeah. think, uh, short films are. You know, people have looked really uh, in a derogatory way for, to to a short film. But I believe that it, it's got so much of. Uh, no, no, it is. It ability. is. It is. No, no, it it's does not. because in that it's literally like you know the way. I mean, uh, I think making commercials or ad films. people who write you know copywriters who do that in in 30 seconds they are selling a product and yeah. you know they're telling a story and they're doing it and that's great i mean today there's a nike ad which has gone viral all across the world which is yes. superb it's it's about sports and it, i'm getting goosebumps just even talking about it right now and it's it's such a cool storytelling 
and that there is a story in that ad you know so i think anybody who can manage to pack what you said you know chota packet bada dhamaka it's a small package but it's it's a bomb it's great so um it's very challenging there's a different kind of challenge in doing that yeah so i think it's a, it's also an evening of revealing secrets so i think uh, i'll i'll also share with you guys because i i'm very very fond of the indo german uh, film week i'm very fond of all of you here so um plus minus the short film uh, is based on a certain character and i've also developed a feature film uh, on that character which is you know it's got a female protagonist but there's a feature film that's going to come out uh, you know hopefully we can get the title plus minus but yeah so it's based on that and that was uh, again you know sparked off by a producer who saw the film the short film and said you know you need to make a feature based you know the background of this character and we did and i thought i was done and over with it i mean once you tell a story it's finished but uh, there's somebody who has the faith so again you know it was not the filmmaker who had any uh, aspiration to take it forward but yeah. it was a producer who kind of is an enabler again like samir is an enabler uh, you know who provides that that resource the platform or the funding to actually uh, empower a, a storyteller to tell a story so i'm really waiting for samir's platform really i'm going to spread this everywhere whenever you give me the green signal samir you'll have people Absolutely. knocking on your door yeah, yeah. we we just hope hope that you know once we we want to get it live and then uh, yeah there are lots of other plans as well uh, in in what we want to do but uh, yeah small steps baby steps uh, that's what we want to take next week yeah uh, by launching the platform yeah so i'm mean, moving moving to you now samir i love the way you describe yourself on social media you go big on short films now i mean again the the part comes here the the big film market a lot of competition there a lot of distributors out there right? so how did you decide to come up with the short film platform for for yourself so i i mean see a uh, number one of uh, a caveat that i generally make on any forums is that i am not a creator i'm not a storyteller um i am first a businessman and uh, in my uh, earlier part of the company what we were doing we were we were placing people into jobs within the film and media industry and um, as one of the key uh, you know i used to uh, understand and talk to candidates a lot and any candidate for any job that came to me would typically in their resume say i have edited a short film i have directed a short film i have acted in a short film i have done this for a short film and i admit i was like a short film kya hai and what is it that you do with these films and then uh, you know they said no we just acted it is kind of refreshing our talent and then it's a show reel and that's about it but it's it's our aim is to do that and then move on to bigger things in life and then i asked a few of them to send me their short films and i saw i mean this is you've created something why is it lying in the you know somewhere in a drawer and that's when youtube was just about launching in india and i kind of thought you know that's an opportunity here there is so much of talent which is created so much of good content and here's a platform which enables me to take this content to people yeah. and that's when we decided to you know launch uh, our channel on youtube you're probably one of the first five partner channels for youtube in india and the number one for short films and uh, that's when the journey started and then you know the more i saw uh, the new short films that were coming to us and the more i really loved the whole idea of how much you can convey in a short duration of time and simply understanding that there is so much talent there and this is something i'm talking about 2009 and 10 when the production tools and the costs and everything were the costs were higher and the tools were not available and yet people were making those films i mean there was not a mobile phone which you could just pick up and shoot a film mm. and yet there was uh, you know so much talent which was uh, creating such good content so i think from that, those days um, as a creative community and the ability to produce the content we have seen a substantial change but i think that's where the core as you know they've been saying is the storytelling yeah. and the storytelling was something which attracted me to it and i thought you know 
bottom line is so much talent available there is an audience for it let me try and find the audience marry the two and see if we could you know share wealth with the creators as well so since the day we launched we've always had the principle that we want to take the creators along the journey and uh, make them share the success of their film so if their film succeeds they definitely get a share of the revenue and that's been our model since day one yeah no i mean great great work by all three of you uh, i always as i said i mean chota packet bada dhamaka there is a lot of message a lot of good work that goes into these short films so thanks a lot for promoting short films for all of us and thanks for bringing it to us yeah with that i'll give back to stefan stefan yeah we very much looking forward to um, samia you will create also two short film programs in the meaning of that we will have two Uh, programs which are curated in a feature film length, so like 90 to 120 minutes, uh, packed short films, the best, uh, the selection of uh, best films uh, um, from your platform, or maybe even films which are not on your platform yet, I, I don't know. So we haven't uh, spoken exactly about yeah. which films will be in the package, but uh, um, yeah, looking forward for, to that. That will be in our film week. From the 24th to 30th of, of September. I don't know if you want to add something to to that. Um, no, I mean just yeah. thanks for this opportunity. It feels wonderful when you know we partner with festivals like yourself and we are able to kind of package uh, some of the good content. And we typically try to do a theme, as you are aware, and then package it and send it to festivals. Uh, you know, it's it's just our way of uh, giving back to the creators who trusted us with their films. that you know here is one more opportunity where your film is going to international festivals getting a different audience and uh, just reaching out to more markets so the whole intent is just, just that and as i said then you know, when i was there last time uh, in uh, berlin uh, and we've seen that there are audiences who are actually interested in indian short films and uh, you know the whole thought that our content small short films which may otherwise not get discovered by audiences in germany in berlin are getting that kind of viewership and audiences through festivals like yourselves yeah and i was um, every time we have had uh, so i think now we have it for two years now i was so surprised uh, about the great short films um, which have been in those programs it's uh, very surprising very uh, well made uh, film so i really can recommend uh, to everybody to watch that also if nobody of you have watched face it so far uh, so so far please watch it and also uh, jody films but jody i have another question for you um uh, you already already mentioned uh, you're working on your feature film now which means uh, uh, with the, how can i say with the um your awarded short films um i think have moved you forward have moved your career as a writer and director so that you now doing your first feature correct uh, uh yeah i also think it's simultaneous because i have a lot of short film scripts which i still want to make and they can only be made as short films mm -hmm. so there's no way that i can corrupt that and stretch it and make it into a feature so uh, those are there but you know then i think every every writer director or every uh, writer who also writes uh, you know film does all these different formats so while um, you know like chutney also like i said happened because this kind of were discussing a long format feature film so and and this was kind of an offshoot so that is something which is happening but yes because uh, a producer saw plus finest it's a very real it's a very real uh, payoff of making the short film is that there's someone who's you know enabling me to make it into a feature now make not that exact story but inspired by that short film we will be making a feature film so yeah i mean that's an opportunity that came very directly uh, and very positively out of a short film yeah can we have that for next year's indo drum film i hope so <laughs> i hope <laughs> stefan i'm always looking for an opportunity to come visit your festival you know that i you know all my friends i just I just love the 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 vibe at uh, your festival. It's Absolutely. very warm. Yeah, it's lovely. It's home, you know. And it's home. You know, I've I've come there with my kids, and they've been like, you know, so when I told them, so Stefan, my children also say hi to you <laughs> because they remember you completely. So. <laughs> 
No, definitely. Uh, that was really big fun. And also looking forward, maybe if uh, you will be part of uh, season three, if there is a three, season three, three of Breeds, you know, then maybe we can have a premiere of that uh, next year. Yeah. But also, Anjana and Raman, maybe you have more questions. Anjanaji. Anjanaji, you are on mute. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Jyoti se hai. Um, uh, Jyoti ji, aap jo hai, 2018 में प्लस माइनस बनाई थी 2017 में चटनी और उसके बाद अभी तक कोई शॉर्ट फिल्म नहीं आई जो धमाका करे तो नेक्स्ट धमाका आपका क्या है क्वेश्चन इज फॉर ज्योति इन 2017 यू मेड द मूवी शॉर्ट फिल्म चटनी एंड इन 2018 प्लस माइनस so since then there has been no short film coming out from your side so no no dhamaka happening so when is the next dhamaka coming i'm hoping it's so one dhamaka is is this uh, the virus that's <laughs> basically <laughs> handicapped the entire <laughs> the entire planet so i'm glad i had nothing to do with it but <laughs> but um, i think that is really handicapped all of us especially filmmakers because shootings require such a people heavy uh, setup you know i mean we of course we've seen some brilliant brilliant content we've seen it uh, where people have you know actors especially i think they've been they've just been so proactive uh, actors all over the world have just picked up you know and and shot with their own cameras and done their own lighting and done their own makeup and you know tackled this head on just out of the hunger of wanting to do something and work and you know be part of a project and hats off to actors all across it's very difficult uh, to do that by yourself especially when there's been no you know absolutely no uh, heads up for that at all so uh, but i think features and and all kinds of shoots have you know currently been maybe we're now limping back to a little bit of normalcy you know looking like space uh, astronauts with all our ppe uniforms and and gloves and masks and everything and you have to put you know uh, stickers at the back to say whom you're talking to so you turn somebody around and say okay this is the director okay this yeah. is the, <laughs> this is the light man okay which is really i mean i'll send you guys pictures so that's how shoots are happening so hopefully um, hopefully this by you know by the end of this year also i don't think things are really opening up in india but we are we do have units which are traveling abroad to europe uh, or to the uk to shoot films which are little you know the the population is less so it's a little more controlled in india it's crazy um so yeah i think uh, hopefully by next year I means stefan really i i you know in 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 india we so we have a goddess of knowledge called ma saraswati and we have a saying that once in a day ma saraswati sits on your tongue and whatever you speak at that time is you know happens it comes true so always speak something good because you know you never know when she is sitting on your tongue so i'm hoping ma saraswati was sitting on your tongue now when you said next year it should be a festival <laughs> and I, i'll be there with you guys <laughs> yeah and, and really we have uh, fantastic locations in berlin and germany too you know berlin i know i know I, I, I know <laughs> i are you telling me i'm constantly pushing my producers to the extent that they're like are you getting a commission from this? <laughs> what is <laughs> So I think right now, though, I, I seriously, I think it's about the subsidies. I think UK has subsidies and uh, a few other countries. So I'm hoping Germany and India have this, uh, you know, tie-up co-production tie-up, which will enable us to come and shoot there. But we have we, have we have subsidies. So Don Two, for example, was shot uh, with I the know. help of yes, uh, Median yes. Boss and yes, also the. a uh, state uh, of berlin uh, the government of yeah. berlin has given some money so um, yeah okay but there that was also because we'll, shadow we'll, camp we will have a chat stefan offline after yeah. this is done we will have a chat <laughs> i want all my ammunition you know to kind of give my producers and say see germany we should go there <laughs> yeah we is me nine berlin i love yeah. berlin so i'm like yeah, well, we well, just we should hurry up because uh, slowly slowly also all the locations are filled with uh, german or other shootings because uh, oh, here oh. since mid may we have begun shooting again wow so oh, um, wow. <clears throat> but yeah not all of it you know because the problem in germany right now is that there is no insurance um, for the case that there's oh. some corona um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, case happens correct um, to, get the are, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. to get in uh, india we do of... that so the so the producer association has got a provision for that uh-huh. so we have that here but i think i think the insurance is basically will cover the unit uh, 
the indian unit which will well. go will get covered by it. Mm. so for the <clears throat> for the um, re for the tv um, um, productions um, which are 100% to, for tv it's okay because the, um, mostly there the tv station covers this at least mm. for, for, um, for a certain amount um, but for the big productions is a problem. So all the big mm -hmm. productions, I think, will start, or the cinema production yeah. and so on, will start shooting in September because then the insurance will be there. That's, uh, um, that's uh, Stefan, uh, your, uh, even in here in uh, India, uh, the TV production, you have just minimal characters on screen now. You just have mm -hmm. three characters, which are, they're, they're not crowding the screen anymore and uh, because of the COVID. And mm -hmm. so the, the scenes are very, uh, you know, minimal in terms of the actors. Mm -hmm. the yeah. I I have a question actually. I mean, this 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 is a question which has been running in my mind since I have I was preparing for this interview. I mean, historically we we and this is my understanding and maybe I might be wrong here. We we have big screen for big movies and then the short film content was mainly online content that that we had. Yeah. And now that line between the two worlds is actually diminishing. So the big movies are also coming on OTT platforms now. And some of the short movies are also making to big screen now. So now with this interchange of content that is happening, how do you see the progress of short films? Do you think that the big names of the big movies will somewhere take over the world of short films or do you think that the content excellence of the content of the short films will actually give a good challenge to the big films? How do you see it? Maybe starting with Samir here. Uh, so basically, see, I think that um, the way you look at it, there are a number of big name actors and directors who are trying their hand at uh, short films and short format content. And I think what has happened with technology uh, is that uh, there is nothing like film or TV. It's, it's just content and mm -hmm. those are just mediums. And content is getting uh, medium agnostic. I think another thing also because of the proliferation of the digital medium, what you're seeing is that content is also getting language agnostic. So. Indians are watching Spanish content and Turkish content uh, yeah. and Korean content like they would have never seen before and vice versa. Definitely. So I think uh, given that a lot of that movement is happening and I think COVID has just kind of pushed the mainstream content much faster onto OTT. But I think the key remains is that the audience wants to consume good content mm -hmm. and they will consume it wherever you make it available. That said, I think the whole idea of short film traveling to a bigger screen is still, you know, it's it's more of a pipe dream, so to say, for India. Now, we've done that, actually. We've released a few, uh, in partnership with PVR Wakao, we've released compilations commercially across, you know, six cities, or compilation of short films across six cities in India. And... Uh, I'll be very honest, not a great uh, response. Mm -hmm. Because when, you know, one, one has to pay the same amount of money that they pay for watching a Shah Rukh Khan film, I think the question comes in that, you know, am I really going to get value? Because uh, a short film, as you said, is a small packet and they really don't know about the dhamaka till they actually go and consume it. Yeah. So, but I think, you know, what we're also seeing is that when you take it to a different format or a different screen, there is a new audience that we are reaching out to who would probably typically not see that film on YouTube, but by the very fact that it is now available on a big screen gives them some kind of a pull factor and they want to go and watch it over there. So as a distributor and as a, a entrepreneur, our focus is take the content wherever we see audience. Okay. And then we just move from that, uh, that approach and point of view. Yeah. Thank you. Adam and Jyoti, you have been uh, involved with big movies as well as short films. What is your take on this one? No, I, I completely agree. You know, Samir said that, uh, I mean, today Shakuntala Devi, which is Vidya Balan's film has dropped uh, on Amazon. So it's, uh, I mean, when you have a, uh, and, and we've had Mr. Bachchan's film, uh, you know, yeah. coming on to, premiering on, on uh, Amazon Prime. On a, and on, a, on an OTT platform. Yeah, so it's like, 
it's something which uh, is is the order of the day i mean now you know there's no there's no such prejudice i think uh, actors have very very big actors have also played uh, you know parts in short films and they're okay with it they've played parts in films which they know are going to come out as, on ott channels they know they played play parts in web series which they know will only be you know uh, available on ott channels so there are people with their phones or there are people with a humongous you know whatever inch tv in their living room but finally it is streaming yeah so i don't think any more there is this prejudice or there is this thing about uh, i will not do you know wh- where is this distributing and you know what format is it coming on what media is it coming on i don't think any of that exists anymore even in the actors head even in the filmmakers head it's basically an opportunity i keep coming back to that if you have a really good story the only call that you need to take is what uh, you know what what kind of content am i making am i making a short film am i making a feature length film am i making a web series am i making a finite series is it something that can go into like eight seasons what is the potential of the story and there again then you come back to content is king and exactly. you know, that's about it and there's no other question after that then you cast and you fund and you produce and you do the best that you can for the story whatever the story is demanding out of you no no in thank you space. i think it's a very happy it's a very happy space to be in right now yeah thank you jyoti shraddha would you like to add something i'd say uh, everybody searching for i'd say everybody searching for good content to see and uh, uh, we are crazy about you know we are so bored in life that we, we we cannot see just one kind of content you know we we because every day if you see every day you 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 will remember some other li- line of a movie or some other song and you'll you know it it's just uh, you're attracted to different things at different points of time and this the 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 short films offer offer that in abundance and it uh, the ott platform is like you know it's like gold yeah. for these kind of uh, uh, this kind of content Yes, and I mean I, I also personally believe that at the end it's uh, the content which matters, and when the content is good, I mean yes, the the content will win because now it's the same platform where both the things are available. A uh, good content will win in the, in this part. So yes, for sure, it's it's a good news for uh, overall industry. I would say. Yeah. Stefan. Yeah. Stefan. Yeah. Stefan. Stefan. Mm-hmm. Angela. Sushawa Frage. Yes, yeah, Kiptanish Sushawa Frage. Mm-hmm. um yeah so my <clears throat> michael from the audience is asking hi thank you all to, for taking part uh, in this talk my question is are festivals like the berlin interfilm short film festival interesting for indian short film makers maybe this is a question to samir uh festivals like No, the, the, the interfilm you know this is a, the, i think the interfilm festival is the biggest international short film festival it happens in berlin also at the same theater at yeah. the babylon yeah i uh-huh. yeah, i think i'm not really sure whether they are really looking specifically for indian films i mean i know i've spoken to heinz and uh, uh, um, i'd met him when i'd come down to berlin uh, so they're not specifically looking for indian films but at the end of the day a festival will always take a good film so if they really like a film they will take it i don't think they have anything against indian films uh, but they're definitely not uh, uh, gunning for indian short films in that no. sense actually I, i think the question is the other way around uh, are festivals like the berlin interfilm short film festivals interesting for indian short film makers so are the people who are making of course short films oh of course sorry then i misunderstood the question but of course uh, if you have a make a good film i would say definitely look at the uh, interfilm festival because it is one of the biggest film festivals at least in europe and you must definitely uh, reach out to them and sell, submit your films to them because they also have a very good plan i think uh, once your film has been to the festival uh, in terms of uh, providing distribution opportunities yeah okay i think we um, need to come to an end so our hour is over thank you so much thank you strada thank you, thank thank you, you so jyoti thank you so much for inviting me it's <laughs> great job. definitely and uh, thanks. thanks jyoti thanks samir uh, thanks raman and anjana and next week we will talk about um, uh, films for kids and youth 
we will have Jitendra Mishra as a guest. And uh, hope to see you all soon. Hope to see you soon yeah. in Berlin. Yeah. You know? yes. In Berlin, yes. 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 We all look yes. forward to that. Yes. And I mean, thank you also from Apna Frankfurt side for taking out the time for the talk. Really enjoyed the talk. And thank you very much. Thank you. Very thank, you. thank you, guys. Thank Pleasure you. being here. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.